then I'm about the Dalit crisis. No. So I'd like to take a look. Peshin Samach Zayin. Peshin Samach Zayin. In the new print. It's a new print? The new, yeah, you have the new print. No. Take the new print, the nicer print. Shin Samach Zayin. You will keep lying. And we listen to my apartment. We never went to prison's house. Peshin Yeah, Peshin Samach Zayin. So it was this guy down south, Rabbi Dalzal, and he took a lot of one. So he said that um, he has a uh, hundred mm-hmm. cotton mm-hmm. and the law for Passover, they have to drink special hard cases, or cases. Uh-huh. So went to the business. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, Rabbi Sai Sif Tazayin, patience, Samachzayin. Yes. You need to drink the, the four cups of wine in the order that we're going to be explained. You have to drink them four one after another. You're supposed to separate them. Each between the first and the second, we separate with saying the Haggadah. The same thing between the third and the fourth, we separate by saying the Haggadah and the Halal. Between the second and the third cup, we we separate it between with eating the matzah and we also do the Berchas HaMazen. What happens if you do not make the separation between them? You were not yoitza by drinking one after another. It's like you drink all one cup. Just pour, put in four cups. It's all like what, one what, cup. What's the hefsek man that has to be between the four cups? Agada. You have to say certain things in between. Right. You're going to have to drink another three if you do that. I wonder if it's ever happened that somebody drank the whole four cups of one shot. Huh? Never know. Never know. Who knows? Uh, sitting in the guy. Who knows? Someone who didn't know the halacha. He, he said, "You know, I heard you have to drink four. He drank all four. You know, and he thought he was yotze. Yeah. If if you die, in kol echem adalak koyses halal otzali shiyeh bele parchas mivis yain la ache shimazgenu imu yain chazuk shetarif meziga. Each one of these four cups has to have not less than a Revius of wine. Revius means a fourth of a leg. The shear of a fourth of a leg. After you dilute it, they had very strong wines, the way they made it, and they would dilute it with water. After the dilution, it should be no less than um, a revius. The shear mezigal, if he does a shoysa, how much should you mix, dilute it? That is, depends on the person. should be a sweet drinking like a freedom drink. You drink it raw without diluting the wine. It's sweet? Yes. So it means you can't have dry wine. That's not, it wasn't as strong as the wine that they had. They had really um, found any, it, it, people like dry wine. Many more, many people like dry wine. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, my mother used to love it. They're so saying Arabia, the touch of Arabia is sweet? Sweet for you. For for you feel it's a... Many people, they specifically want this. Does sweet mean literally sweet like Matok, or is it sweet no. for you individually? So it's sweet. Right. sweet. So it's a the sweet, wine like a they... sweet smell. Or shall we say a sweet aroma, a sweet smell. It's for you, personally. Why? Right. Yeah. The, the, okay. chai, the wine that they had was so strong, no no one was able to enjoy it. It was it was not a, a wine that... It was it was wine that used to mebushal for a long time to be strong like perfect. And if you did drink it chai, what happens if you drink the four cups? Chai, beloy mezigo without dilution. Im yesh, it's already, if you have a revius of wine in each cup, yotzde dal kois, you yotzde v'dal kois. Ve'ein tzach last dilution, you do not have to re-drink them. Avil, however, you miss a certain component out. Which you cannot make up. Yidei cheirus loy yotze. You did not yotze the concept of cheirus because your drinking was not an enjoyable drinking. 
So you're missing the Derech Cheres aspect. So you the, 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 the Gemara splits yeah. the Dala Kaisis, and then they have to be drawn Derech Cheres. When you miss that, what are you missing? Keloi Mesh, Leikim, Mitzvah, Min HaMufkar. You're showing to point out what that means, Lo Yatsa means, not Yenat Yoitza, Dala Kaisa. Yenat Yoitza, doing it in a Mitzvah and a Mufkar way. Bistam Yen Shalano, however, most of our wines. Ain al Khazaki Malta never writes already in their times is not strong. The Ain Sarah Mzika cloud does not need it all to be diluted. And if I care, in our days, if you dilute the wine, you can really ruin it. Right. We don't want to put in water. You put in it's a ver- just a little bit, very little. Because you're gonna put water into our wines, you're gonna ruin the wine. It's not gonna taste like wine anymore. Ken with the grape juice, Ken with the wines so with five percent to three and a half percent. It's unbelievable. Three and a half percent uh, water alcohol. No, three and a half percent alcohol. No water. The, you look at all the wines and the grape juice. A lot of and, them have water. A lot of wines have water. Very little. They put in very little. I think the Israeli wines. They say they really they put in a lot of water in the cheap wines, but uh, the American wines is very little water. They have to put it on the label green. if it's over two percent. So I spoke to someone years ago, a mashgiach, who was mashgiach on the the wines for the OK. He told me that he they do not put any wa- water in. So there it could be some water left in the vats. They wash the vats and everything in between. Could be there's some water on the vats, but they're not putting in water. There is a certain grape juice out there, maybe light. I'm not sure, but there's a certain grape juice you could see it says it clearly that there's water in there. So there's there's water in there, um, but they do put maybe a little small amount of water. In general, we shouldn't put too much water in these wines. If you're gonna put water in these wines, the whole wines taste is. You don't touch the fruit. Certain wines you, you feel the fruit. Some wines you don't. <laughs> See, maybe they're using water. No. <laughs> Will be some of them too. Therefore, you can't really add water because the, if you feel the need, there could be no, water that's already been added. You can have water for children, right? Water, water for children. Children, you know, give them grape juice. Grape you, know. juice. Sorry. Sorry. you could add some water to the grape juice as long as you still still taste like grape juice. Yeah. You know, still tastes like the grape juice. It doesn't have to be alcohol, though. I mean, I can use grape juice. I use yeah, grape, grape juice is a hundred percent kosher. Yeah. Partial dial crisis. Um, if some wanted to tie there, then maybe grape juice is not their chaos. What you say? What you say? Um, Tell me what I say. Yeah. Sifyut chas. Shir hakoyish revius. Here he gives you the how do you figure out if a cup has a revius. Okay, Kiraiche Bays Goodland. Rahbay Kiraiche Bays Goodland. When you have a square cup, a goodl means your thumb. The width of your thumb. Two widths of your thumb. Like this. And the length and the width are the same. They're both Bays Goodland. The Gavay Kiraiche Bays Goodland, the Hatsi Goodland, the Hatsi Goodland, the height. Is two godels and a half and a plus a fifth. Shear is out because I call it Maruba play Golgabe. It's when it's a full, it's a square cup. Well, that is at the Shire because Ogle, it's a very small amount. She her eagle park is Maruba via. You could also t- make the same measurement when you're having a round cup. So what, how many when times? the a round cup is a fourth lo, less than a, a square round? cup. Wow. So what what is the quantity, the kamut that's required to be yotze? Is it matter the size? Of course, it matters the size of the cup, right? I mean, kiddush you make kiddush sometimes in a smaller kiddush cup, like shot glass, right? But it has to be. We have to drink at least for of the the shot glass. Does, what, what's the actual Shag glass could be problematic because they're very what, small. What, what's the quantity in, in a glass? That's so required? there are different opinions. Yes. The, the most lenient opinion that you can rely upon is 2.9 ounces, which is not a lot. Um, but it's better to be Bahadur more. Maybe have four ounces. And what, what's the Chazanisha Shir? 
brought six ounces. Six ounces. All our cups are 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 usually good. Chazaka, most cups that you have out there. In Europe was the. No, now the cups that they make, the silver, they're making them very large, and some of them are really big. They might have two shiurim in them. So, what is the size of a shiur? Again, I forgot. So, these cups, let's say these are these are seven ounce cups, I believe. What's the normal? Right? Seven what's seven the seven ounce. Yeah. These are these are very big cups. How much is a shiur? How many ounces? The shear cup is two point nine ounces. Oh, no. 2.9 ounces. It's very small. They don't make 2.9 ounce cups. But maybe you can so get how many shares? Maybe you can get a fourth, uh, a four or five ounce cup. Maybe you can get how many shares are to be yotze for each cup on the regular post dollar cost? The very minimum of 2.9 ounces. Um, if you could do four, a lot of them, the small ones I think are five. Smallest ones that they sell around the five, maybe. Rabbi, if I have large cup. Yeah. And I drink first clothes, but I don't drink the whole thing. I drink only the V. Oh. I can leave the other part for the next cup. Or I have to That's, we do that sometimes too. Yeah. We put a little bit of wine in. I take a sip from the cursor, put more wine in, fill it up, fill it up. That's right. Are you you allowed? have to drink the whole thing. Very good question. Sif you test. Cup. Next sif. Sif you test. The last line. Yay, Shoemrim, there's three opinions here. Shalachatchi, I say it's two opinions. Three levels, two opinions. Mm-hmm. Actually, you have to drink the whole cup, no matter how large your cup is. If you choose a nice big goblet, you got to drink the whole thing, according to this opinion. Half a piece should be kiddish, a shy, and a shabbos, a filo katrilo dibish, a filo katrilo Even though when it comes to kiddish, we don't say that. Kiddish on the yom of shabbos, you don't have to drink the whole cup. You drink roiv of a revius. Of the cup, a cheekful, a full cheekful, is a majority of a revius. Mikol Mokim says this opinion. That's in Kiddush a whole year. You have to drink a kois. Chazal said, drink dalat koises. Whatever kois you have in front of you, you got to drink the whole thing. Machmir, complete kois. According to that opinion, Obediyevet. If you drink roiv akoisya, it's a majority of your cup because we always know in the Torah. What's roiv? By the way, majority. More than fifty percent or three yeah, fifty-one percent. Fifty-one percent. So most, we always know the klal in Torah. Whenever we say you need the whole thing, roiv rubay kekule majority is like the whole. Let's say example by shechita, shech tu semanim of the animal, the trachea and the esophagus. You have to shech both semanim. If look at chila, so shech all of both of them, the full. They did roiv, majority of it. Rubei, where we consider the kule as if you did the whole thing. So it's still kosher. Still kosher. Same thing here. Roiv kois, you can't do the whole cup. This opinion says at least drink majority of the cup. Majority is considered as if you drank the whole cup. Avam loy shasal chazi kois, you only drink a half a cup. According to this opinion, you drink your half a cup was a big half a cup. You drink many reviews in there, many shiurim. Not your it's according to the shita. If you drink it slowly, if you're constantly drinking, others say no. No, we we treat the Dalek Koises just like Kiddush of a whole year. L'chatchila, it's the same status. You drink Rav Revius. Ah, from a Kois, Machzakamavis, even though your cup is very large, contains a lot of Revius, all you need to drink from the Kois is Rav Revius. Mechain Iker, that's the Iker opinion, is like the second opinion. Look, Hakel. And Mechain Haminik Pashat, this is the very Pashat the Minik. In Klai, you saw the people, they just drink a cheek full, and like you said, they keep on adding on for the next kois. Mikol Mokim, says the Alter Rebbe. Mikol Mokim, Toiv, Lachosh. What? Sorry, Rabbi. Sif, we're in Sif Yutes. Tafayim Beis, Sif Yutes. Near the end. Macaul Mokim. Towards the ending, Macaul Mokim. 
It's better to be cautious to the Swarishi to the first opinion that you should drink a full cup. Because cotton malicious school, you take a small cup. Why are you taking such a big cup? And then you're going to be make gold drink only Ravivius. Take a small cup. If it's a place where wine is expensive, drink Rav Ravius. That's enough. So we have to remember the three levels. You aim to drink the whole cup. If you can't, you drink Rav Hakois. That's all one opinion. But chila all but the avid right. That's one opinion. If you don't do that, you go down to the next level, which is actually is the ikr halacha. Right, revish just like by kiddush maloy lugma is enough. Majority of a revish. It's a very small amount. No matter how big your kais is, you don't need to drink a lot. And you see certain people that are not makbid. They don't drink the whole cup. Maybe they don't even drink half the cup. It's fine. The yaitza definitely the women and people. It's hard for them. Right, revish is fine. My question was, you can leave the other... Yes, you could do that. No problem. No problem. Again, l'chatkhila, you should try to drink the whole cup. You can't. You know you can't. You can't. You're diabetic. We're not 100%. Talking. Yeah. Again, l'chatkhila, you should try to buy yourself a cup that's uh, small, oh, so no. you don't have any problems. They're People come to, to the Seder, these big cups, and then they're, what, what, they're not able to drink. Well, they can't walk out of the Seder. <laughs> <laughs> All this whole discussion is regarding the first three cups. The last one. The last one to drink, which is after Halal, you're drinking your fourth cup, that you have to drink a full Revius. Not the whole cup, but a Revius, which is at least 2.9 ounces, very least. Because you have, a, you're now going to say Allah Geffen. You're finishing the meal. You have to be able to say a bracha without any doubt. So make sure you drink a revius. Now, how quickly do you have to drink it? Without any, it shouldn't be any questionable. Uh huh. Okay. How should you drink it? Chatchila, you should try to drink one shot. This roy revius, that's the ikra hadin that you only drink roy revius, like we spoke before. This amount that you have to drink bevas achas in one shot. You shouldn't just ah, drink, put it down, take another drink. Drink straight. They had such type of glasses, which the it came very narrow on the top. Very narrow on the top. And it's hard to get that drink it all quickly. But the Yevet, however, it's okay. Even many times, you 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 put it down, you drink again, you drink it. It's fine. This is only tzarech lizar lechatchila. We'd have to read into the language of Shulchan Aruch. Sarech lizar lechatchila, but the Eved yoytza. It's better. It's better, yeah. Chatchila. You know, halacha is nuanced. Not going to be, you know, always clear cut. There's lechatchila, but the Eved we try. There's different opinions. We're not going to get away with no arguments, no discussion in Yiddish Guide, right? However, how long we say but the Yevid, you can you could you don't have to drink it with a one shot. You can stop in between. But how long can I put it down and have a, a discussion for five minutes and then take another sip? How long in, in between intervals in between can I make? So he says there's two opinions. The first opinion is that is the time that it takes to eat a pras. The, how long does it take to eat a pras of bread? There's a big discussion in Paiskim. Um, varying opinions from three minutes to maybe nine minutes up to 11 minutes. And I think for most uh, would say it's it's around six minutes. 
Um, that, no, we're even more stricter. You should not make a hefzik even the short amount of time that it takes to drink the revias, which is a very short amount of time. You should, shouldn't make such a hefzik. We should be concerned for the second opinion in regards to the first two cups. So last of which is Oisak Kois Belay Bracha. If they drink it again with Arab Bracha. Aval. Here, Altenebe takes a nuanced approach between the first two cups and the second two cups. For the first two cups, you have the ability to drink a second time without making a bracha. No, first. Okay. The halacha is after the third cup and after the fourth cup, you're not allowed to drink or eat. You know why? Because you're after the afikoyman. The afikoyman is supposed to be the last thing. You finish the meal off of the afikoyman. We don't eat a drink afterwards. The only thing we do is drink two cups of wine after the afikoyman. So the afikoyman is the ending. So you're not allowed to drink after the koy shlishi and koy sevi. So if you decide that koy shlishi, you want to be mahadar and mahmer. Like the second opinion here, which is not the Iker. Second opinion. That I, I made a hefzik in between and I want to drink, drink another cup. You're going to have to make a Bayer Pear Guffin because you were not planning on having this problem. And you're not allowed to drink after without a bracha again. You're going to have to make another bracha Bayer Pear Guffin. If you make a bracha Bayer Pear Guffin on a cup, it seems like you're adding an additional cup. You know, we say four Bayer Pear Guffins tonight. In other words, you make a repair, but you, but repair. since after the third or fourth cup, no one drinks. So when you drink your cup, you were not planning on drinking anymore. If you would now drink again, you, make a, say, well, you don't make a second, another bracha. You would have to make another paper. If you, yeah, but you don't. But you, and then okay. that's a problem because it looks like you're adding a fifth Add cup. Fifth cup yeah. So we don't do that. Yeah. Only the first two cups. And that's to be machmir. That's why I only say we pick up in the first exactly. two cups. The first two cups, you don't need to say a bayer pia gafen. No, no, no. But unless you're uh, aliyah, you know, aliyah. But the, but the after bracha is that you. So even though you don't say an after bracha after the second course, or do you say it after 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 bracha or bayer pia gafen? After, after the know? only at, at the ending of the whole meal. Whole meal, okay. But bayer pia gafen, we say each one because each one's a separate. Except meal. for the second and th third and fourth one, we don't say bayer pia gafen. We do say, you but say. if you made a mistake. When you were drinking the the third cup, let's say, mm -hmm. and you you didn't drink it in one shot, and you waited a, a, a interval. Let's say you waited two minutes. A period of, yes. And now there is certain opinion that say you have to drink it again. So we're not going to make a separate bracha. We're not going to do that. We're not going to drink it again. And how about the relation to the bracha? But if you go, that's what I understand. We're not going to do it. We're not going to drink another again because if you would have to drink again, you would have to make, make another bracha. And that Why? Would, Why would you have to make a break pick off and if you don't do it? You'd have to adhere. because after the third and fourth crisis, you you didn't plan on drinking. I didn't, so that's with kavana. Exactly. Okay, you never had that. kavana third word. I want to just tell you a story about this. The idea that we we, we see over here and actually earlier in the sermon, which we we learned last year, and I thought we learned we would jump to here because in previous years we did the beginning that the chazal were very machmer that you shouldn't seem like you're adding a fifth cup. Four, fifth, sixth cup, four cups. It says, "See, it's all to the God of the Kafti and Parshas of Ada." We don't add, and you shouldn't even seem like you're adding. So, therefore, even if you let's say drank without Haseba by the third, fourth cup, you forgot Haseba. without leaning, you oh. forgot to lean by your third, fourth cup. We don't drink again because you have to drink the again. The third cup. Oh. The fifth cup. Okay, that's the shuts be yade the Rambam. Remember when you had a suddah of sis, somebody said lachai. Suddah. It might look like you're adding up a cup. So I'll tell the story. I heard from Abiyal Khan that he saw in the beginning early years by the Rebbe, by the Seder, because the Rebbe used to have the Seder by his mother-in-law. 
the Friedrich Rebbe's Rebbetzin would continue making the meals for Yom Tov meals for the family. They would go upstairs to the second floor to the Friedrich Rebbe's apartment and she would invite some people, that, uh, some guests uh, around the table and she would set up her, the Friedrich Rebbe's plate like, uh, like a place setting in the front of the head of the table and the right would sit the older son-in-law the, the, the Rashag, Rabbi Shmayo Garari, and on the left was the Rebbe sitting there, and they would have the meal there. And the Rebbe had a custom that, that any time, any Yom Tif meal, Shab- in between the fish course, and after the fish, we're going to have the soup, the meat course, so he would say, he's supposed to drink in between the fish and the meat. So, he would say, take up his pup, uh, a, a, a becher, and he'd say L'chaim to everyone. On the cup, he would drink in between to be massive between the fish and the meat, and he would say l'chaim on it. And yamtif, all the yamtif sudas were public, so people who wanted could see it. It wasn't a room meant for everyone. But certain people came after the meal; they went to go see. So Shabbos, no one saw what the Rebbe did. It was private. So yamtif, the Rebbe would always do this night and day suda. He would say l'chaim on the cup of wine. So there was one of the older sitting Reb Shmuel Levitin. So he noticed that the first night of the Seder, the Rebbe picked up the cup and he drank, but he didn't say L'chaim on it. No? Yeah, the Shulchan Eirich. The middle of the Shulchan Eirich. Between the, the meat. He did not say L'chaim. The next day, at the day meal, he sees, he picks it up, and he says L'chaim to everyone, and he drinks. He does say L'chaim to everyone. Okay. Maybe, you know, okay, sometimes he says, and he doesn't. Exactly. But then in the night, again, the second Seder, again, he's not saying L'chaim. Now already he realizes, it seems like the Rebbe has some kavan over here. So he asked the Rebbe, by the, by, he asked the Rebbe, the Suda, he asked the Rebbe, my hi. So the Rebbe explained that he, he doesn't want to give chashivas to another kois during the, for the other than the, the Dalek koisis. He doesn't want to say L'chaim and another cup of wine during the Suda to give Chashibas to another Kais, like we're learning in Shulchan Aruch, He didn't want to... Min hadin, l'chor, it's only if you say a Bayer Piyagafen on it. But the Rebbe was uh, somehow was Mahader that he didn't want to. And Rabbi Yael pointed out that... The wrong shot. The wrong shot. Rabbi Yael pointed out that you see how much the Rebbe was Machshiv saying L'chaim in a cup. People say, oh, l'chaim, l'chaim. No, but the Rebbe, l'chaim, and a cup gave a chashivas to the kois. So he didn't want to say l'chaim by the Seder night. Yeah, but I mean, if you want to drink more wine on the Shulchan Aruch, you can just play and drink it without saying l'chaim. Right, we ourselves, can, we ourselves, it's fine. It's 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 probably the Rebbe's l'chaim gives the drink. Api Shulchan Aruch is no problem. But the Rebbe, exactly. but the Rebbe, this is a Rebbe thing. And, uh, this is the Rebbe you can take thing. the Yid out of the community, but you can't take the community out of the Yid. <laughs> Sivchof Aleph. Me, Sivchof Aleph, Rabbi Yisai. Me, she'en is shoy siyayin kol ha-shon ha-pish ha-soy noy, shemazikoy. He doesn't like wine, or it hurts him. Abi ke'en chai litzchei chas-atzmin lishis dal koisis da gemara rabbi yudu bari loi, mesh omru chachomim ala rabbi yudu bari loi, he had to wrap something around his forehead because he, today we have all different types I don't know what wine Rabbi Huda Bailoi was having but uh, you could drink grape juice and you could drink all different types of wines to choose from it's a big shayla I don't know but that's I don't understand the whole I don't know. Basis. Why the shot? Why didn't he drink grape juice? Maybe grape juice also or gave him a headache. There was, there was no grape juice. Was, <laughs> the Gemara says, the Gemara said that anavim, the Shaykhit uh, Anavim, yeah, but this you is can squeeze another one and be But this is a new invention. It's not like you just do it. Gemara discusses how could it be squeezing and how is it so sweet? How could you squeeze into your cup? It's a it's, it's a malacha, halacha, malacha. How could you, you can't do it, do it on yontif? Somebody shame to say it was done before. Skita was done before, and then you makadashan on the shabbos. 
do it on Friday and put it in the Friday. Yeah, so, yeah. Same yeah. chav base. Unless you can do schit here. Unless it's part of cooking, correct? If it's part of cooking, is that part of bishul? Yomte. Yomte, if you're allowed, you're allowed to do bishul. Yomte might be different. Yomte might be different, right? It's a chilo. On Shabbos, you're allowed to do schit. That's part of the malacha. But if it's, it, 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 it's part of making the suda, maybe that's the exception, right? If you sure. squeeze into food, it's okay. You can yeah. squeeze on your a lemon. Or onto you're your... squeezing onto, onto cup to drink it at that it's period of time, time immediately on the yantaf. If you drink, if you Shabbos, if you squeeze into a, a salmon, let's say. Yeah. Okay, you squeeze into a salad. Yeah. Now, now yantif, I'm sorry. Yantif. Yantif is part of Bishol, and you're allowed to have Bishol if it's for, for the Great skit that you can do. Part of Bishul. Right? Part of Bishul, you're allowed to Bishul. You know, you're allowed to. Avo, Kiddish, Shashaya, Matoy, and Sifka Bays, Shabbos, and Sarah, Lutz, Lazarus, and Kois. Kiddish of other Yom Toyvim, Shabbos, you don't have to drink the cup. Aliyachalus Shmaya, Kiddish Meacha, you hear the Kiddish of someone else. Shank it, Abrakois, Shal Pais, there's something unique about Abrakois. Everyone has a personal chief to drink, not just to hear Kiddish. He the drink. Let's say people around the table, they don't know how to say Kiddush. They didn't go to school. Especially those days, there was no Beis Yaakov, no Beis Rivka, Beis Rachel. They didn't know, how, the, the women did not know how necessarily how to how to learn, how to, to read. What would they do? They listen to the Balabais. He would say the Kiddush and the Haggadah also. And they listen and the Yoytz of Aishmiah. Drinking the juice. They all have to drink the alakoisis. So there's two din, very important. The, the briskarav brings out the velvet, brought it very nicely in one of his, on the, on the Rambam, there's two different din in, in the alakoisis. There's one din that it's like the, all, the whole year long that you drink, you, you, it has a din of a koisha bracha. All year long, you don't have a chief to drink. There's only din shsia. The one who made the kiddush has to drink. You don't have to drink. Someone makes havdalah. We don't have to drink. Even you hear the one saying havdalah. Do we don't have to be even for kiddush, you don't you don't have to partake in the kiddush. Even even the men who are toyim, a taste in the kiddush. Right. That's for a mitzvah and a mulcher, not to be yoitz of the mitzvah. So don't you see you're hundred percent yoitz of the mitzvah without tasting. Even Friday night. Even Friday night. Just say amen. As long as the guy that made the kiddush made that they drank to it. Exactly. Arch in a drinking is a mitzvah and a mulcher to be toyim from a kaisha bracha. I have all of an Indian that we don't, but by kiddush there is an Indian to be toyim from a kaisha bracha. Now, if you were not toyim, you have these big shuls and they make kiddush for the whole shul, and they go straight to the buffet, it's not a problem. It's okay. Yeah, no, those are medactic and mitzvahs are going to go make sure to have a, a, a toyim. Little, a, a little bit, a little bit from a little bit from the, the kiddush. But even if they didn't manage to get the yoytzin, yes, because they said uh, you say heard it. In the so time, that's called a kaysh bracha. You have to There's say amen. No see up, the didn't hear to say the bracha, the kiddush, al hakois. Okay, so you say amen. So be yeah. in the in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Bracha. But there's an additional thing, Pesach. Pesach, besides for being a kaisha bracha, the dish see you have to drink with al kaisis. And you could actually, in a way, you could say there was a discussion. What happens if there's no, not a lot of wine available? So balabayish, it's make just like a whole year long, make. All the four cups, not only Kiddush, all the four cups. Let's say only the Balabais is enough wine. You have to make Kabbalah. You can make Kiddush, Haggadah, Bechas Amazin, and Halal on the Koises, and everyone listens in. And the Biyot's are one aspect of the Dalek Koises, the Koisha Bracha of the Dalek Koises, because each one of the four is a Koisha Bracha. There's an additional din of Shsias the Dalek Koises. You don't have, you can't drink, drinking. Yeah, yeah, so there's yeah, two yeah. din in that you should drink dalal yeah, yeah. and there's another din and, and Fakert also by the way the Vizkarov explained you could be Yoitza drinking the dalal with separating them separate four that you can't drink them one shot but four dalal da- da- separate without saying koisha brachas on each one you Yoitza dinish sia without the din of koisha bracha but the essence is two din happening here when you're doing the alakoisis, you're having you're drinking the alakoisis, and you're making a bracha. First comes the bracha, then you drink. Two things are happening. 
I have a question. Yeah. If you have the wine on the table, yeah. you make first course, second course. Okay. One of the bottles is better wine. You can make a tova and a in the same time you make the bracha different. I'm not bucking the dinner of a Today, most people don't make a tayva mitzvah. Is that the deal? Why would you want to make a tayva mitzvah? Why would you use that for the amatrasis? Um, Rabbi Meraza makes it. He's very into brachis. But <laughs> most Ashkenazim <laughs> don't make a tayva mitzvah. He, he, by the way, he, he actually taught me when the, I actually learned about tayva mitzvah with him. So when I go home, I introduced the at, at, at my table too. I, I, so, why, why wouldn't somebody want to use the best time possible for any place? Sivchav Gimel, E. F. Shalei Lass has Seder. It's a hard minute to understand. It's already brought in Svarim. It's already brought in Malaktim that for some reason the Atoiva made the pasal because there are various dinner when you say it. Well, the Maisa was that the Oilam doesn't really make Atoiva made. There are a lot of other brachas that people don't make anymore. They don't make Shechiyano when you don't see a person. Says when you see a person after thirty days, you should make shachiyano. You don't say shachiyano. We don't say mechaya mason if you see someone after a year. We don't say mishana uh, habrius when you see a, a, a monkey or uh, yeah, because <laughs> uh, you see them all the time, you know. <laughs> Depending which neighborhood you're in, right? That's funny. <laughs> so the, the 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 all these different brachas today. By the way, seeing an elephant, the various brachas today. Then a zoo came to town. It was like a major event. People would see animals. Today, see an National animal, Geographic. Make a special National bracha. Geographic. Everyone sees I don't know. When you see an elephant or an animal, you make a special bracha. I don't certain know. animals were very uncommon to see. Yeah, Chazal said you make a bracha. When do they see certain animals? When you, know? you see a zebra. You know? Know? Sure. It depends on how much you drink when you see a horse. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Moses said his grandfather in Russia he didn't have wine because it was no good. So the only way to make wine is from uh, raisin. raisin. The wine was so yeah. bad, but the two cup, everybody was drunk. Sivchov Gimel, imi efshe lats a seder tchitzlayel miyad. What happens if you can't make the seder right in the beginning of the night? Vatinoikis roitzim lechel. And the children want to eat. Av bishemuter lehem. Even though you're allowed to give them food to eat before they hear Kiddush. Every Friday night, children are hungry, you can give them food to eat before Kiddush. Except not on Pesach, right? Pesach, a little different. We don't want them to eat too much. They're going to get all tired. They're not going to hear that God. We need them by the Haggadah. We got it all of Incha. It's possible, it's possible that you're not allowed to feed them the matzah of Lechem Oini, the matzah. Mm-hmm. You're not allowed to feed them even a little bit before the Haggadah because then how are we going to say, we got it all of Incha by because of this matzah when they already ate the matzah. So it could be you're not supposed to feed the mats to later. It's a suffix. Siv chav dal ma koyish shas bal bais when God the master came to visit him. Be bana be based lots of mashes time. The koyish she is bal bais. If the koyish that the bal bais is drinking is very big, contains many rivis, and he could pass around the cup. They could all have one cup. Bal bais says kiddush on one cup, then he hands it around, and everyone drinks from that cup. The story that I've heard, and he drinks. Uh, everyone could drink the Roy Revius. Roy Revius, at least what uh, most of a Revius, Kol Echad Vechad. Kol Moke, Mitzvah, and Mufchar, Litin Kois, Kol Echad Vechad, and Atzmai, Shepol Echad, Gishtim, Kois, Moli, Shepol Echad, Hidden Mitzvah. It's a Mitzvah, and a Mufchar to give everyone their own cup. Why is it a Mitzvah, and to have their own cup? Because by the when that person makes kiddush on it, they didn't drink from a kois mali. It's a hidder mitzvah to drink 
of a full cup. So when you pass it around, the second person didn't already, from the second person on, didn't get a full cup to drink from. So missing a hidden mitzvah. By the way, I want to point something interesting here. Typically, we understand that a hidden mitzvah of having a full cup, Kaysmali, is that the Shasta Bracha, the Amidas Habracha, the Kais is Mali. Over here, the Kais was Mali, the Shasta Amidas Habracha. And they're all listening in. And they're hearing the Bracha, the Yaitza. But after that, it says when you're passing it around, they all didn't, only the first person drank from a Kais Mali. He says, Shakdei Shakolacha Yishta Mi Kais Mali, Shazo Hidder Mitzvah. It's important to remember. And you have to go look back in in in, in Simon Kofay Gimel, which you learned earlier this year. But you see, here he seems that the shtiyas kais mali has to be not just a midas habracha and a kais mali that you should drink from a kais mali. You can't let the first guy drink it, then he left a little bit in the cup, fill up again, give the second guy fill up again. So this way everybody has a control. Oh, the problem only with that is that the mice you didn't make a brach on that wine. Right, it's a, a no a no wine over there. Yeah. Uh-huh. A little bit would be okay, but uh, another thing, by the way, you see over here, also Kois Pogum. He doesn't say there's any problem with Kois Pogum. This could be that he was drinking from the wine. Oh, that's blemished the wine. The Pogum doesn't say anything about Kois Pogum. Pogum means blemished. In this instance, it means drunk from already? Yeah. Yeah. That's what the reference is. Because the Pogum means blemish. Well, it seems to make a difference. You said before the only time it's us to be myself a la is on the third couple of doors. Didn't come yeah. drunk. Yeah. So no, because you, because we're because because, 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 because you're gonna have to say about your pair because you don't. It's also to drink after that fikoyman. It's also to drink after that fikoyman. You're only allowed to drink the third or fourth cup. So by chance, the third cup you made a mistake. Let's say you didn't drink basaba, or you drank and you want. Uh, and you drank it not bevas achas, and you were showing more than kedeshiyas revias. That is a sheet of the holes that you should do it again mm-hmm. by both cases. By if you do by seba, we uh, don't do it again. Why? Because if you're going to do it again, mach how to do it again? You're going to have to make, make another bari piyagafim because you were not planning on drinking anymore because no one drinks between the third and fourth cup no. or after the fourth cup. So, so you're going to have to make another bari when you make another bari piyagafim. Neither can myself make it. And the only time you're allowed to drink the first and the second, then, is only if you had in mind. Right. So, the really, over here, he doesn't then say. you don't have to buy a pre to worry about. It. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so soon, it's not a problem. No. Second cup no is no problem at all. The first cup, it says you need to have in the mind. The only leak way in the first, because you brought it up, the only leak way in the first and second cup that you have is, is because you're not going to make the buy pre Yes. Correct. What's the channel? Because the second you're, you're, you're in the fourth, you have endless greater, right? Because you're already you're making it on bichas hamazon. You only can drink third and fourth cup. You're not allowed to drink anymore. What's it? Once you be, you bench, you make a you didn't bench. You just didn't have a mind to drink. Well, the third cup you bench, you bench. No, you're yeah. not about in mind. You're not allowed to drink more. Right. So you never had a mind to drink mind. more because you're not allowed. So why after the first cup you're allowed to drink more? So the first cup over here he doesn't I explain. Over here he doesn't explain grada. That's earlier in the in the simon, I don't know why he doesn't refer to earlier. Early in the simon, he says first cup only work. The derek is not to be shy, so because they're busy with agada. Right. Not to be what to drink in between this first and the second. That's not usher because you already make kiddush. Right. A lot of drink right. when I did. So, that's not the derek to be shy. So. Okay. So therefore, what is shy for? What is shy to drink? Well, so so therefore, you're not so. you have the same problem. If you yeah. want to drink again, to Mahada to drink again the Kois, because you didn't drink Vaseba yeah. or you didn't drink Vasachas, you would have a problem because you have to say very fair because yeah. it's not the Derek, you didn't have a mind. So why is that? So the says, but have a mind. Have a mind, and in case I make a mistake. Then you could drink a Kois between the first and the second. Exactly. Now, why can you do the second same? one? You don't need to have a mind the because. There it comes right after bench. You could do the same thing you want to say? Yeah. Why can't you have a mind? And don't make an allegation. You don't make an allegation. I don't you know, know why. After the fourth, you don't make an allegation. Well, you could drink more wine. Why would you be able to drink? Why? It's the third place. Place. Well, there's there's no leeway. What? Part of the place. No, no, no. There's no. If leeway. it's the kais, right? There's not no leeway. The there's no. There's no not leeway. more than the kais. There's no. Well, you can't take a, drink the full cup. You can't drink a second yeah, kais. Yeah, yeah pour another one of more. But after the third kais, I'll drink more. After that, you can't drink. If it is six reviews, so twice or ten reviews. Okay, then you will manage to do a shtick yeah. because you'll take yourself a bigger cup <laughs> and you'll be going to the sheet as a call kois. I don't know, I'm thinking what you're shy about. Oh, right. You're shy about. Jose, oh, it's not because of you, because you're shy about. That's a shy about. Because of the point you get drunk, right? You're shy about. Yeah, it's a bit.
Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. You have to think. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you could, there's two opinions. When is the time of Chilas HaPesach? Carbon Pesach, and Melo Chilas Matzah. According to Rebbe Loza ben Azariah, it's at Chatzois. Like we say every day in the Mishnayis, in the morning, V'shach V'sha Pesach E'en Necha Ola at Chatzois. This is the opinion of Loza ben Azariah. All the Mishnayis in Abikiva, different Mishnayis in different places. Abikiva held Call Halayla. You have up the whole night. Who's Allah like? So We're Machmer. We're Machmer. You, you can't drink the cup and the ice cup until after Allah Shachar. That's what you're saying, right? You have to wait. That's what I'm asking. I'm trying to tell you. It depends. Yes. Maker, Pashtus, yes. Hopefully speaking, so, like. When was the last time, for instance, when they had when they, when they made the Korban and the, the, the Pesach, the Pesach Korban? Right. When was the last time they could eat at the Pesach Korban? See, that's a discussion. Yeah, that's a discussion. The Gemara has a machleik is about it. One opinion says at midnight, chatzois. Other so opinion says at dawn. Dawn. Right. dawn. Abin said like this. Like if you want to... Like this. But Abu Lazav and Azariah held the chatzois means that not only you, you don't... You can't you can't eat matzah after chatzois, it also means... That the whole iser of not eating after chat, the matzah after koyimin is only up until chatzos. So what could he, eats is, if you want, you could write before, make a condition. Right, you see it's coming chatzos. You're in the middle of your soda. And you're not making it happen. And you're up to it's almost a few minutes to chatzos. And you're not making it coming. And you want to so you want to have your whole meal. You want to have your whole meal. You want to talk the seder and talk all the things. So he says. Take a piece of matzah, right now. eat it, and say, if the halach is like Rebbe Loza ben this is my afikoyman right here. Wait, now, oh, it's chatzois, it's midnight. After midnight, you can continue eating. Mm. And, and, before, and the ending of say they eat afikoyman, that would be like the opinion of Akiva. Oh, the Yaitz are both opinions. Yeah. They say that the briskerov was meshabeach this svara, and he said, you don't even need to make a tonight, no condition. Just do it. If you ate the last piece of matzah of chatzais, you're good, and eat another matzah later, and you're fine. I was on the tonight. A lot of matzah. A lot of matzah. No, one kazais, one kazais. Okay, so that depends how good your matzah is, how much you like matzah. And, yeah, and he took his ace for the mitzi matzah. One for the other matzah, one for the other mitzi, right? Yeah. yeah. And the big kazais for that. Yeah. If you and, 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 and we're having dedicated balai lahaza. Right. Yeah. One second, just not because of the Moitzi and the Chilas Matzah, one for the Koyin, one for the Levi. Why do you two possess them for the Moitzi Matzah? Yeah, for the Chilas Matzah and the Lachem Moitzi. For the Moitzi Matzah and the Lachem Moitzi. It's a Shmixa Machloik. No, because Machloik is which one is it? The top or the middle? The Moitzi itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did not have your soul. No? Really? Ah, he went most like the the Rambo? Yeah. You know, you only had Koyin and the Levi. You know this for sure? Yes. And Rabbi oh, wow. Feinstein did have three months. Yeah? Yeah. You know, really? Well. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't know. I don't know. I know that the brisket they did it. I and Rabbi Feinstein had three months. Because he held the lady so harsh that takes the place of Lechem Interesting. Yeah. Lechem Oini. That's the highlight of that? That is one Abish there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or a monotheistic religion. <laughs> Yeah. Someone passed me up. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.